Hi, Dr. Owain. I am so happy you're here to precept me today. I have this, I hear you're really great at this osteopathic stuff. Okay. And I have this really wonderful patient that I would really like to treat with some osteopathic medicine today, but it's been a while and I've kind of forgotten some of what I am supposed to do. Well, that's okay, Polly. Why don't you tell me about the case and we'll go from there. Well, this is a 66-year-old woman okay. and she comes in after digging in her garden a couple of weeks ago and she's had some low back pain and she's tried Tiger Balm on it and she's tried some heating pad and some stretch and nothing's really making it better. Okay. And I examined her and I noticed that her left hip is rotated posteriorly and I noticed that her lumbar spine is side bent to the left as well. And it's interesting because when um, I'm asking her about her pain, she does say it's a spasm pain in her low back, okay. but she also says it radiates down here and right where her underpants go, which okay. I think is the Popart's ligament, okay. I think. Um, so um, I, I was just wondering how can I treat her best? I really want to do some high velocity on her because when I was in school I was really good at that. Okay. Well, just generally a step back a second, Polly. What do you think is going on? Well, I think that she probably hurt her back shoveling mm -hmm. in her garden. And I think she probably just strained some muscles. Um, mm -hmm. She hasn't ha doesn't have any bruises yeah. or any tenderness over the bones. Mm -hmm. And um, because she is side bent to one side, I'm thinking that she most likely just has a muscle spasm. Okay. So again, what will you say were the key things that helped you find that diagnosis on your exam? Well, most of it was the lumbar spine okay. side bending, and also the muscles really feel tighter on the left than they do on the right. Okay, okay. Well, uh, just a few things I want to just look at with this. One is, you know, when you look, approach anyone with a musculoskeletal problem, you're trying to make sure, is that appropriate to use manipulation? And I always think of looking at red flags. And red flags are what are the big things we need to find that could possibly cause a problem. And one mnemonic I like to use, I like mnemonics, is um, RIFT, radiculopathy, infection, fracture, and tumor. And going through kind of questions with people, you want to make sure that you don't you know, have any major issues there. The only one of those that came out when you presented to me was radiculopathy. But again, where did that radiation of symptoms go to? It just went right okay. here, right, it, it just to right there. So okay. it didn't go all the way down the okay. leg. So again, so it wasn't below the knee with no. that. Another thing is that you're looking at different manipulative techniques that you think that might be appropriate. A good thing you looked at was you identified that this is a patient that may benefit from osteopathic manipulation. So it always warms my heart when I hear people say that. But the other thing is that but there are dozens of techniques and you have to use certain ones for the best situation. I love high velocity myself. But you describe a patient who has so much muscle tightness, a lot of times high velocity is a direct technique. That means we have to go to a barrier and we have to go a little beyond it. If we have so much muscle splinting, you can't get to that barrier easily, so we may have to use other techniques. And the good news is there's a lot of other techniques. Even though we love high velocity, you know, there's times that maybe it's not as good as other ones. So, hey, if all else fails, let's evaluate the patient and see what we need to do from here. Okay, great. Okay.